Hey Lauren, what are you doing? Just reading the best story of all time. Really? What story is it? It's the story of China. I don't know about you all, but I think I can find a more exciting story. Maybe something in the fiction section about a girl that gets lost out in the woods. Fiction? I prefer reading non-fiction books. We all have our own preferences. Good morning, Gators. What do you look for when you pick out a good book? Um, by looking at how it looks like. Looking at the title um, and seeing what level it is. Well, usually I look at the back of the book. You, it tells you the sum of the book, and if it doesn't have anything on the back, you can flip through the pages and look at what the words are and see if it's interesting. I look at this on the page, and then I pick it out. On today's show, we'll start out with some news that you can use. Gina starts now. Let's start the show. Gator, I pledge to do my best. Books, magazines, computer displays, tablets, and billboards are just a sampling of things that we'll have to read in our everyday lives. Today marks the start of Literacy Week. What is literacy? Literacy is the ability to read and write. Reading isn't just important for books and magazines. When we get older, we'll have to fill in important documents such as job applications, important medical information, and of course, bills. Not the most exciting things, but a fact of life. Right, teachers? There are a lot of great books out there in our media center and our local libraries. One of those is one of our GN reporters' favorite books. Let's go find out. There are many good books out there, some better than others. On today's Book Guest Challenge, we have a book that was first published in 1964. Who knows? It might be one of your parents' favorite books. The first clue is the author's initials are SS. The second clue is this book has been described as one of the most divisive books in children's literature. The third clue, it was originally rejected because it was too sad for children and too simple for adults. Don't know it yet? Here's your final clue. I'm going to read a few pages from the book and then I'll see if you know the story yet. Once there was a tree and she loved a little boy and every day the boy would come and he would gather her leaves and make them into crowns and play king of the forest. Have you guessed it yet? Today's book was The Giving Tree, written by Shel Silverstein. Tune in tomorrow for another book guest challenge. Aw, that was a sweet but sad story. What kind of books do you prefer to read? I prefer reading stories based on facts, true stories, real people, like biography and old history. I prefer to read stories with imaginary people and events. We want to know what books you enjoy reading. I like reading the Goosebumps book. I think they're very interesting and I just get in the hang of the book and I just keep going. Yeah. Polar Bears, Past Midnight, Jack and Annie, Magic Tree House. My level books. Those are some good choices. One of the best parts about being literate is taking those letters from the alphabet and transforming them into words. Next up, we'll see if you can guess some of these vocabulary words from today's Word Scramble. You know what I find amazing? There are 26 letters in our alphabet. We can use these 26 tiny little things, put them together, we'll form a word that helps us understand better. In our class, we refer to these as vocabulary words. Currently in third grade, there are six vocabulary words that the students will be learning this week. I picked a few of them out and scrambled them up. Let's see if you can put them back together. Here's the first word. It has exactly five letters and it is a noun. I'll give you a few seconds to see if you can try and figure out what it is. Here's something that might help. It's definition. A distinctive, typically pleasant smell. Here it is used in a sentence. The pleasant blank of cookies banking. The first word is aroma. The pleasant aroma of cookies baking. Here's the second word all scrambled up. It has eight letters in it and it is an adjective. Here it is used in a sentence. That fall was not very blank. Here's a definition that might give it away, having or showing grace or elegance. Did you guess? Our second word is graceful. Here's our last word scramble for today. This one, don't butt in. 
that's a clue. It has nine letters in it, and it is a verb. The definition is to break off or cause to seize, as in the middle of something. Here's our example sentence. May I blank you to comment on your last remark? That should have made it a little easier to guess. The vocabulary word is interrupt. Tomorrow, we'll return with some new vocabulary words that the fourth grade will be learning this week. Stay tuned. According to the NEA National Education Association, having kids read a lot is one of the most crucial components of becoming a good reader. Young readers like myself need to become practiced at recognizing letters and sounds. The only way you can get better at something is to practice. I agree. To get better, you always have to practice. And I have to admit, when I read for a long time, I have to take a break. Yeah, sometimes it's good to take a brain break. The good news is, Wait a minute, this just in. We have some breaking news about what just happened here at school. We have a GNN reporter standing by to give us the latest. Ryan, can you fill us in on what's happening? I sure can, Lauren. Whoa! 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 I can't believe the hype out here. And if you look behind me, our playground just got a new makeover. After years of running laps and playing on the blacktop, our playground just got a new upgrade of multiple new areas to play on. I just talked to the coaches and I found out that this was a very expensive upgrade. It cost approximately $20,000 for the equipment, shipping and handling, the new mulch, and the borders. We hope that as we continue to raise money through Walkathon that we can add to our playground in the next few years. The decision of what to get on the playground came from talking to the students. Um, well, we knew that we had a lot of swings. Um, we talked to the students and they said we really want to slide, we really want more climbing things that we can climb on. I like the big slide. All I really like about the park is the slide because you get to go down fast. Even though it's a fun area to play, there's still rules that we need to follow. The slides, it is bottom first, never head first, you know, on your bottom, wait your turn, no pushing, shoving, don't walk under the monkey bars in case someone does fall. I think this will benefit the whole school and the coaches are very thankful for your support. I appreciate all the support and donations that we've gotten. Thank you so much for allowing this to happen. I'm Ryan reporting for GNN. Thanks Ryan for filling us in. Well Gears, that about wraps up today's news show. Make sure you tune in tomorrow morning for a special guest to start the show. That's right, and some more school news. And literacy news. That you can use. And make sure you don't forget the little things. Have a great day.